So it's Greg with another Vim screencast, and I've been talking about using uh, Vim to send email. Um, so before I get into some of the details about how it's all configured, I think it's useful to show kind of like a motivating use case, which shows like why you might want to do this and why it might be worth the effort. Um, at the moment, uh, I'm looking at my inbox here, but I, I can switch over to my uh, all mail archive, um, which at the moment has 96,000 messages in it. Um, and I just want to show you how fast this is. I'm just going to hold down Control D um, and just like watch it fly by. Um, that would be really hard to do in the Gmail interface. I mean, it's causing my machine to bug out because I guess it's getting all these key repeat events. I should probably do that demo again without the uh, key caster. And now I've got a spinning beach ball, which is nice. Um, I'm going to do this demo again without Keycaster, because it's always Keycaster is not coping well with all those uh, key repeat events. Let's just quit Keycaster. Okay, and now let's try that demo again. Control up, um, and yeah, this is like super fast. Not only can I scroll through this faster than I ever possibly could in Gmail, um, I can also filter it just as quickly, if not more so, than Gmail. So um, I'm gonna hit L to limit, and then I'm gonna say that I want everything that's uh, from my mother. Maybe, or I don't know, whatever. Um, so you saw how long that took um, and it filtered it down to 2,785 messages. Um, you could do that in Gmail with a search as well, but you'd be limited to paginating through it at like 20 or 50 or 100 messages. And once again, I can just like zip through this. Um, so this thing is fast um, and I could show you in a few other ways, uh, ways in which it's fast, but I think you get the idea. Um, in addition to the raw power, uh, because it's so customizable and because there are so many things that you can bind keys to, uh, you can do things uh, pretty easily to manipulate messages in bulk. Uh, so for example here, I can see those, I mean, this is mostly blanked out because I can't show you my personal email, um, but I'm gonna jump down to some emails that are related to some pull requests. I'm gonna like search for you comp because I got this thread about pull requests um, with a single key press, I can highlight the entire thread um, and like archive it, for example, uh, or look at it, um, jump between it, I'll archive it. One interesting thing to note uh, about the way this works is unlike Gmail, um, when I archive the message, it's actually still in the mailbox for a while. So I can still look at these messages, but they're ghosted out. Um, if I actually wanna synchronize those changes to disks, I hit a key. Um, otherwise it'll synchronize eventually. Um, but effectively, um, that's just a small taste of the kind of things you can do with uh, the keyboard in this thing. But basically, you can manipulate large quantities of e email quickly um, from the keyboard, which is really nice. Um, so I'm going to sign off on this one. Um, and in the next screencast, I'm just going to show you a little bit about the architecture of the overall system um, and then get into the details of how it's configured.